Acid reflux can be a pain, literally. It is an uncomfortable sensation that may be occasional or if persistent, a symptom of something more serious. Learn more about gastroesophageal reflux disease and its symptoms with one of TGMC's experienced gastroenterologists. All right, welcome to your health with Terrebonne General Medical Center. I'm Martin Falls, and Dr. Musa is in the house tonight, a gastroenterologist. And tonight we're going to talk about acid reflux and GERD and a lot of things that people experience out there in TV world. Dr. Musa, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. First of all, let's just get to the basics. What is acid reflux? Uh, acid reflux is a condition where the stomach contents backs up into the esophagus. The esophagus is uh, about a 10 inch muscular tube, which is wide one inch. And at the end of that tube, there is a circle of muscles which contracts. It blocks the backup of the acid and it only relaxes during swallow. Okay. What is the, the difference between, say, heartburn and a gastroesophageal reflux disease? The um, GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease is a condition where there is uh, damage from frequent exposure of the esophagus to um, the acid contents. We usually get concerned about it if uh, people uh, frequently, at least twice a week, get heartburn, if the heartburn occurs at night, and if it lasts for a period of years rather than weeks. Okay. The, we talked about GERD, and you, and you talked about GERD earlier on. Explain GERD to me. What is GERD? The major symptoms of um, uh, GERD is burning sensation behind the chest bone and acid regurgitations in the throat. In a large proportion of the population, you can have atypical symptoms like uh, non-cardiac chest pain, difficulty with swallowing, painful um, uh, swallowing, uh, ulcers which can produce the um, bleeding, uh, vomiting blood, and sometimes it can eventually produce fiber and scars which can be precancerous. Okay, and you touched, I think you might have touched on a couple of symptoms, but go more into the symptoms of GERD. We also know that um, in severe cases, it can produce like extra intestinal manifestations, including wheezing, asthma, uh, hoarseness, recurrent sinusitis, and recurrent pneumonia. Okay. Now, for the audience out there, for somebody like me, a lot of people who may be experiencing GERD, how can you prevent it? Lifestyle modifications. Um, uh, avoiding fatty meal, uh, even putting few pounds uh, will uh, predispose to a major degree of acid reflux. Uh, wearing tight clothes, all of uh, the pleasures of life, including alcohol, uh, tobacco, uh, chocolate, caffeine, peppermint, all of these allows that relaxations. Um, Sometimes it is really impossible to uh, modify the, um, your lifestyle, as you know, Mr. John. Um, and the majority of my patients, we tend eventually to rely on medications. Right, let's do this. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to tell you about some of the tests that are available to see if you may have this problem. We'll be right back with Dr. Musa. Terrebonne General and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center bring a new standard of high quality, comprehensive cancer treatment to our community. Now in one convenient location in Homa, bringing together world-class technology and a caring and healing environment to provide the best patient experience possible. Our new cancer center was built for you because we care for you. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC, Homa.
All right, welcome back. Our guest tonight is Dr. Musa, a gastroenterologist with Terrebonne General Medical Center. We're talking about acid reflux and GERD. And, and Dr. Musa, let me ask you, what tests are available to determine if someone has GERD? The majority of the diagnoses are made by symptoms and the response to the medication. In selected group of patients, we will run different types of tests. Uh, the most common nowadays is like running a thin fiber optic scope, uh, which um, goes with sedation, and we are looking for complications uh, like precancerous changes, or what we call upper endoscopy. In certain types of patients, in order to determine the frequency of the acid reflux, we do a 24-hour pH monitoring, which can be done during the endoscopy. In certain cases where we are considering referring the patients to surgery, we assess also the motility of the esophagus, or what we call manometry. Uh, traditionally, the conventional way was the X-rays or upper GI series mm -hmm. looking for significant reflux or what we call uh, hiatus hernia. Uh, is also a complementary test. Okay. After you get tested and you find out you have GERD, what treatments are available to treat it? The lifestyle modification, which we talked earlier about, mm -hmm. the, we tend to, um, to use uh, now a selective group of medications simply because of the degree of our uh, uh, acid reflux in southern Louisiana doesn't really respond to the conventional anti-acids or over-the-counter Zantac or Tagamet. Mm -hmm. We tend to use what we, uh, we call proton pump inhibitors, uh, stuff like Nexium, uh, Prilosec, uh, Prevacid, uh, SFX. Um, we, for certain patients who uh, are resistant, there is also the option of surgery, uh, which doesn't totally eliminate the, um, uh, the need for the medications. And recently, uh, we, are, we are in favor of weight-reducing and bariatric um, surgery. Okay. Now, are, are there any complications, Dr. Musa, that are associated with GERD? Uh, GERD is an extremely interesting condition. It selectively um, predisposes uh, the Caucasian population to precancerous uh, endosphageal cancer of particular type. 75% of them are men, 25% of women. There is also complications of uh, benign uh, scars which can produce uh, food uh, impaction and the blockage. Uh, and sometimes that can produce esophageal uh, puncture. Uh, finally, the, we, uh, it can produce extra intestinal manifestations, including asthma, wheezing, uh, recurrent uh, pneumonias. Okay, now I want to bring something up on the screen if we can, because if our audience tonight would like to learn more about this condition, you can call Terrebonne General Medical Center at 985-873-4616, or you can go online at tgmc.com. Dr. Musa, thank you so much uh, for being here. I know you're in a hurry. You're a busy doctor, and I know you have to get back to work, so thank you it's for pleasure. sharing your time with us. Thank you very much. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with more here on Bayou Time.